to ATCM, the emergency medicine channel. Today, let us discuss about Scarbosa criteria. This is one criteria which is very important for all emergency doctors because uh, we know that uh, whenever we think about myocardial infarction, we always think that it is only ST elevation. It is not only ST elevation, it can be ST depression also sometimes. It can be deeply inverted T waves or sometimes it can be LBBP. It all depends on uh, the cardiac enzymes. When we have these changes, if the cardiac enzymes are elevated, like troponin T or troponin I or CKMB, if it is elevated, whatever ECG change you are seeing uh, when the patient is having acute MI, uh, if troponin I or CKMB is elevated, then it will become myocardial infarction. We'll see the diagnostic criteria for ST elevation MI. Uh, new ST elevation at J point in two contiguous leads uh, with a cutoff points more than 0 0.1 millivolt in all leads other than lead V2, V3. For leads V2 and V3, the following cutoff points apply more than 0 0.2 millivolts in men more than 40 years or more than 0 0.25 millivolts in men less than 40 years or uh, more than 0 0.15 millivolt in women. So these are the uh, uh, easy changes to diagnose ST elevation. But LBBB also can be seen in acute myocardial infarction. You may be seeing only new onset LBBB in acute myocardial infarction. It uh, accounts nearly 7% of the patients who is having acute MI. So acute MI also can be presented with uh, LBBB. We'll see what are the LBBB findings which are more specific for MI. LBBB is always pathological. When a new onset of LBBB occurs, it, all, it indicates an acute coronary uh, syndrome. But uh, some of the changes associated with LBBB may point towards an acute myocardial infarction. LBBB is always pathological. We have discussed that whenever we are seeing LBBB, that is mostly because of uh, ischemic heart disease. Uh, rarely it can be due to other conditions like LBH or rate dependent LBBB. All these things can be there. It is mostly a marker of ischemic heart disease. A new onset of LBBB is always a sign of myocardial infarction or acute coronary syndrome. When we talk about LBBB, we should know what is the common change we see in LBBB. V1, you can see here, there is a RS complex. So look at the V1, there is RS complex. Uh, V6, you can see M-shaped or there is a notch in the QRS complex. But what is more important is, after the M-shaped QRS, wide QRS complex, you can see there is ST depression and T wave inversion. That means if there is M pattern, M pattern means positive QRS complex in V6, the ST will be depressed. That will be QRS one direction, ST will be in the other direction. But sometimes you can see W pattern of LBB, that means QRS will be negative. In that case, ST will be upright. So, uh, whatever may be the direction of uh, QRS complex, mostly it is M pattern. So, ST segment and T wave will be on the opposite side. This is called as discordance. So, mostly LBVB will be associated with this discordance pattern. So, you can see here discordance means there is uh, whatever may be the direction of QRS complex. ST is always on the opposite side. So in V1 it is uh, negative, uh, QRS is negative, ST is uh, positive. In V5, V6 uh, QRS is positive, ST is negative. But uh, sometimes you can see uh, QRS negative and ST positive. You can see the ECG here. Uh, when we uh, discuss about ECG you can see the axis. You look at lead 1 and uh, lead uh, 3 here. Lead 1 is positive, lead 3 is uh, negative. That means they are leaving away from the center. 
okay that means it is left axis deviation it's a very simple uh, uh, simple idea to understand what is the axis you look at the uh, one and three leads if they are leaving away from the center then it is left axis if they are reaching towards center it is right axis so here it is left axis qrs complex is wider uh, you can see the qrs complex is more than uh, three small squares then uh, like we discussed uh, previous slide uh, there is rs pattern in v1 there is a m pattern in v6 and sg is opposite direction of the m pattern that is negative uh, in v6 so this is typical lbbb pattern now we'll see scarbosa criteria that's a criteria uh, to uh, diagnose acute myocardial infarction in uh, uh, lbbb st elevation more than 1 mm in leads with a positive qrs complex that is concordance in st deviation score is 5 st depression more than 1 mm in v1 v3 concordance in st deviation that is score 3 st elevation more than 5 mm in leads with a negative qrs complex inappropriate discordance in st deviation that has got a score of 2 it is sensitive but not specific for ischemia and lbbb so when we are seeing that there is a high chance of uh, myocardial infarction but it is not uh, that specific so you always uh, uh, take the uh, cardiac enzyme and see whether they are elevated or not but uh, if we are seeing this type of findings in ecg uh, like uh, uh, whatever we discussed in the previous lines that has got a very grave prognosis the score of more than 3 or equal to 3 which is uh, uh, it's mostly a sign of uh, myocardial infarction in 90 percent of the patients it shows patient can have myocardial infarction but uh, whatever it is uh, a cardiac enzyme if it is positive we will make it as diagnose of uh, acute myocardial infarction uh, otherwise it is an acute coronary syndrome but there is no myocardial infarction there so we were talking about discordance uh, what you are uh, seeing here in this ecg is discordance the qrs is on, on one side sg is on the opposite side this is uh, discordance this is a classical example uh, you see in all types of uh, lbvv but if they are concordant on both and on same side then it is more specific for uh, myocardial infarction so here you can see concordance of st deviation first uh, uh, first picture there is m pattern but st is upright that is concordance that is more specific for myocardial infarction st depression more than one millimeter in v1 and to v3 so you can see here st depression is more than 1 millimeter st elevation more than 5 millimeters in leads with negative qrs complex that is also more specific for uh, myocardial infarction so all these three changes what we discussed in, in the previous slides uh, just shown ecg tracings so concordance is very important uh, st depression more than 1 millimeter is very important st elevation uh, more than 5 millimeter also very very important all these things are some of the examples for uh, uh, ECG changes in myocardial infarction. So you can see here in uh, there is an LBVV in the ECG wide QRS complex. What you are seeing here is uh, uh, the V5, V6 you can see M pattern of QRS complex. But ST and T waves are on same direction that means uh, concordance sg deviation is there so that will be a good sign of myocardial infarction with lbv however we have to check the cardiac enzymes here to diagnose myocardial infarction now another sign is cabrera sign used to diagnose acute myocardial infarction in the settings of lbbb there is a notch at 40 milliseconds in the upslope of the s wave in v4 v3 and v4 so that is also a sign of uh, 
myocardial infarction but uh, sensitivity is only 27 percent so there is a notch in the upslop of the qrs complex in v3 and v4 another sign is chapman sign it is used to diagnose acute mi in lbvv it has got a notch in the upslope of r wave in lead uh, v1 1 avl or v6 so that is also uh, very low sensitivity but specificity is about 90 percent so these are the signs you can see in ecg uh, in lbvv with mi now we have discussed about uh, mo one of the most important problem in emergency room uh, that is lbvv lbvv can be there in uh, many conditions uh, but especially it is very very common in ischemic heart disease in ischemic heart disease itself if there is myocardial infarction associated with lbv there are certain changes in that disproportionate elevation of st disproportionate depression of st segment or concordance pattern these three findings are very very important to make a diagnosis of lbvv with mi or mi myocardial infarction in a patient who is having lbv however uh, elevated cardiac enzymes should be there to make a diagnosis of myocardial infarction just ecg change may not be sufficient to make a diagnosis of uh, myocardial infarction you need chest pain classical findings you need ecg changes and elevation in the myocardial infarction is the most important factor to make a diagnosis of acute mi thank you